New rele newly released photos of the September 11th attacks are shedding new light on one of the darkest days in U.S. history. Some say they prove that the assault on the U.S. homeland was indeed homegrown. Joining me now from our New York studio is Manny Badillo with We Are Change. Manny, talk to me about these photos and how you think that this is evidence that 9-11 was an inside job. Well, I'm not sure how much they prove that 9-11 was an inside job. What they definitely do prove is that the United States government has obviously been lying to us about the events of that day. What we see are exploding buildings, uh, not buildings that collapsed. Uh, the U.S. government still has yet to tell us what initiated these collapses. Well, what we see from these photos are uh, bu buildings that are literally turning to dust, and the only way that happens is through explosives. This is facts are corroborated by the hundreds of first responders and survivors and even victims that day that said they heard explosions, as well as the forensic evidence of the case, which has found explosives in the debris of the World Trade Center, as well as the um, chemical signatures of such a type of reaction. Uh, what we see is we see uh, a very different story being told by these pictures uh, than what America has heard so far about the murder of my uncle and 3,000 other innocents on that day. So, Manny, are you suggesting that these explosives were already inside the building? I mean, it's very feasible, and I think most people would buy that there were probably explosives on board the planes, and the planes, you know, collapsed with the building. Isn't that possible as well? There's a lot of possibilities, uh, but the facts of the case stand. Uh, we see um, a building that is being taken down from top to bottom. Uh, there is an undamaged mass underneath where the plane hit. The U.S. government has already admitted that within 15 minutes the jet fuel actually burned off. Um, steel is an excellent conductor of heat, so any heat that was being caused by any internal fires was being dissipated the, through the entire uh, superstructure. Uh, what we see is we don't see a building collapsing in pieces. Uh, we see a building turning to dust. We see pyroclastic-like flows uh, occurring as these buildings are coming down. We see a pile of rubble, of dust, that eyewitnesses said that not even, you know, pe pe there wasn't even discernible pieces of office furniture. Uh, where the steel go? Where's the core columns? Uh, the 47 story, uh, the 47 co columns four inches thick uh, that should have been standing. Um, the, the facts that we see with our own eyes uh, should tell us a lot more uh, than what the U.S. government has attempted to tell us and lied about. I guess um, explain this to me a little better. I'm not an architect, and I think a lot of our viewers probably don't quite grasp this either, but what should we have seen if, as we are told, uh, these buildings collapsed, the World Trade Center collapsed because a plane flew into them? What, sh what would we, we be seeing differently if that's all it was? Well, we'd be seeing two uh, buildings standing that today uh, downtown. We'd be seeing actually three buildings standing uh, because the Solomon Brothers building, Building 7, uh, the biggest mystery of all, actually also came down in its own footprint at nearly free, free fall speed. Um, there has never been a, plane, uh, a building collapsing from a plane hitting it ever. Uh, the fact is, is that um, we just take a look at some past collapses that took place uh, in the, in here throughout the world, and then uh, take a look at how buildings are demolished and brought down. You're going to see very eerie similarities to buildings being demolished as opposed to a plane hitting them, and then all of a sudden coming down uh, an hour and an hour and a half later. All right, Manny, just uh, real quick, I I'm wondering, um why you think that, what interest the United States would have had in um, getting involved in an attack like this on its homeland? Well, you know, this is age old. Uh, false flag operations uh, have been going on since the dawn of civilization. Uh, the United States has participated in them. It's been proven. Uh, the USS Maine in, in Havana Harbor in 1898, the Gulf of Tonkin incident. Um, here we have, uh, you know, the events of September 11th, an unsolved crime, a mass murder, uh, where the majority of commissioners uh, said we did not get the entire story, uh, where 70 percent of family members' questions were never answered. Uh, we have a, uh, the first place that we went to was uh, the oil fields um, in, in the uh, Middle East, 
Uh, we are in Afghanistan right now, uh, not just for the oil pipeline, but for the other natural resources, uranium, cobalt, natural gas, and also the natural resource of opium. Okay, the CIA has been bringing opium and heroin to this country for years. Um, we now control that natural resource. Now we're in Iraq. Now we're building uh, permanent military bases in the former Soviet republics. Uh, this is a war of empire. This is to keep also Russia and China and India away from these places. So, no, we haven't gotten Osama bin Laden, the CIA asset, uh, but we have gotten uh, our troops in the Middle East surrounding our next target, Iran. Uh, you know, the American people really need to, to wake up and understand that, uh, you know, we've been lied to and now is the time for us, for we the people, to really stand up and say, we're not going to take it anymore. We want the answers. We want a real investigation of what happened on 9-11. All right. Manny Badillo joining us. He's with We Are Change.